in order to use docker you need an environment now i'm not going to practically show you how to set up an environment but point you to the documentation which is docs.docker.com and this contains detailed documentation on how to install docker on various systems and you have a choice between docker ce and docker ee docker ce is the community edition and that's what i'm going to show you uh, in my demonstration so if you click on docker ce there you have instructions for almost every single operating system in including different distributions of linux which include centos debian fedora uh, ubuntu etc uh, you also have instructions for mac os and uh, windows where you have a couple of options to install it uh, as well as it you know it has instructions for setting up docker on the cloud environment which includes aws and azure this is just a sample instructions uh, manual for installing docker on centos using a repository where you uh, install prerequisite packages set up repository install docker and then validate using one command that is docker run hello world uh, you have similar instructions for different operating system from the documentation. So if you want to install Docker, docs.docker.com is your friend. If you do not have a way to install it locally or even remote server, you can also use this portal called as play-with-docker.com. Here you will have to log in with your Docker Hub ID. So you should create a Docker ID or GitHub ID. And once you log in, you can add an instance which gives you a working Docker environment. And this is completely out of the browser. So you do not have to install anything or you don't have to provision any server whatsoever. If you, This is the quickest way to get started with Docker. And I just validated that using Docker version, I have an environment uh, with Docker running. You can also run, uh, do the smoke test using Docker run hello hyphen world command. That pulls an image and launches an application. And uh, that's the sample application that you can see there. If you want to validate your installation, generally use these commands, docker version. It shows you the version of client as well as the server. If you see both client and server, your Docker installation is absolutely okay. If you don't see server, there's definitely a problem with uh, some installation steps. Uh, this also shows you the version of Docker, which is 18.06. This is the latest at the time of creating this video. This is 2018.06 stands for June. So it explicitly mentions when this version was created. And if you want to do the you know smoke test, you generally run Docker run Hello World. This actually pulls an image. So if you have internet connection, it will show you some issues. Um, it has run an application. So this just validates that your daemon has been running correctly. You do not have any network uh, connectivity issues either. And you are able to run an application using Docker run command. You also need an access to Docker Hub. Docker Hub is a registry where you will find a bunch of, uh, you know, images. Images are self-sufficient application packaged uh, into along with its dependencies including the operating system files as well. For example, this is an image for Jenkins and a lot of images also will show you the instructions on how to run that and launch a container using that image. As part of this uh, section, I'm going to show you how to launch uh, an image and uh, you know an application using this image rather and uh, using some of these tags. Tags represent the version of the image, typically which maps to the version of the application as well. Now this is the environment that I'm going to use. This is the remote server that I'm running um, on Ubuntu with Ubuntu operating system. And when I run Docker system info, it shows me the information about Docker daemon. How many containers I have, how many are running, how many are forced, how many images I'm running, which is the storage driver that is overlay two, that's part of the overlay file system. Uh, the runtime is run C, so Docker uses run C internally. And it also shows me a lot of other information, including which operating system, what is the CPU capacity, the total memory available on my system where the Docker daemon or Docker engine is running. Again, I would run Docker version and Docker minus V. Docker version shows you both client and server uh, versus Docker minus V only shows you the Docker client version, nothing else. And uh, if you just run Docker, it shows you the help uh, where you will find all the sub commands related to Docker. Earlier, you had only these commands or flat commands, uh, sub commands where you could run containers directly. Now we have categories of sub commands here. 
that's because docker has added a lot of functionality and there's only one docker binary now we have categories such as for containers for images for networks for volumes uh, some related to the docker swarm which is orchestration engine so you could either use docker container run or docker run both i mean it is backward compatible so you can use any of these commands so that just validates the environment so i'm all set to get started running containers and this is my environment running on a remote server you which runs on top of ubuntu on digital ocean platform